Here's a question for you. What do llamas have to do with the sport of cycling? Usually nothing, but not this weekend. It's time for the Tour de Llama, the only charity cycling event that comes complete with, yes, you guessed it, real llamas. I spoke with Jan Kelly of Samaritan Ministries to get the lowdown. So Jan, you have to tell me, I mean, everybody, when they hear about this, the first thing they say is, what in the world is the <laughs> Tour de Llama? What's the relationship? How did this name come about? Well, it's a really neat story. Michael West, a local architect, designed our building, our new building here on uh, in Winston-Salem. And he also owns a vineyard, uh, which includes a herd of 90 llama. So he wanted to come up with a fundraiser to help sustain operation. And uh, it starts and ends at his farm, Divine Llama Vineyard. So we just named it Tour de Llama. I love that. So you literally see llama along the way while you do this. Now, you guys are doing a little bit different this year, multiple venues. Explain that to us. Well, due to COVID, we've had to limit how many people can come out to Divine Llama and ride. So, But we've added a component at Salem Lake, uh, mainly for families, but we've got plenty of room at Salem Lake for folks to ride uh, on the trail there. So Jan, just tell me in a nutshell about Samaritan Ministries for people that aren't familiar, what you guys do. Our mission is providing food, shelter, and hope through Christian love. We have a community soup kitchen, a homeless shelter for men. Both are open 365 days and nights a year. So Jan, this is a fundraiser, obviously, and this helps you guys. So does that money stay local? Yes, all the money raised stays here in our community. The $30 fee provides 10 meals in our soup kitchen. This is awesome. Sounds like so much fun. We'll see you in the llamas this weekend. And I think that's the key here, the $30 fee, she mm -hmm. said, provides 10 meals. That's a lot, so everybody needs to jump on board. It's fun. And there's a llama behind you. A big one. Just wanted you to know. Very large. Just be aware. By the don't way, they the, spit? Uh, you know, I don't know if that's, I always hear that about camels. I don't oh, know. Okay. I don't know. I don't Not know. Lady's, this lady's This lady is pretty close. Yeah, yeah she's right. very close. She's in prime spitting location. They are cute. Um, no, so they, so they divided it up, right? Instead of doing it all at the one vineyard, now they're doing it at multiple locations. And she, I said, well, you don't have llamas at the other one, right? Oh. And she goes, yes, we do. Because that cardboard cutout, if yeah. you saw behind her, they have those hidden along the course at the Salem mm -hmm. Lake one. So that's just as much fun. That's cute. I want to be the person who hides the cardboard llamas in the woods. That's I want that job. Like where's Waldo? <laughs> yes. I think that this is so cool. Those pictures are absolutely beautiful. And I was just asking you if it was too late to sign up. No, so tonight the registration goes, I think, until nine o'clock tonight. But they said you show up day of, they're gonna obviously okay. they're gonna let you in. All that money stays local, so